The assault weapons ban reduced the number of mass shootings. I'm referring back to the study that my uh, colleague mentioned, my partner mentioned. Um, the study that Luis Clarivas, who teaches at the University of Massachusetts, um, he found that from 1984 to 1994, before the incident, there were, or before the assault weapons bans, there was um, 19 inc incidents of mass shootings. And then from 1994 to 2004, while the ban was in effect, there was 12 incidents. And from 2004 to 2014, after the ban had been um, removed, uh, there was 34 incidents. This shows that a 183% increase of incidents in the decade after the ban compared to the years um, during the ban. Um, the assault weapons ban has the support of credible persons such as like, first responders. Um, these, uh, over 240 million calls are made to 911 in the U.S. each year, uh, according to FactRetriever.com. It's safe to say that we rely on first responders for safety. It's easy for the American people to say that we trust first responders with our <coughs> lives. No doubt I trust the first responders' judgment when it comes to gun violence because they carry hands-on experience under their belt. These people deal with the devastating aftermath of any gun violence situation and their judgment is valuable. Um, NBC News reports that the uh, national police organizations such as the International Association of Chiefs of Police, the International Brotherhood of Police Officers, and the Fraternal Order of the Police of Police all support um, the renewal of the ban. Who better to agree with on the topic of gun violence than the people who deal with the effects and in some cases police officers combat against high performing lethal assault weapons. Um, Jay Weaver, a journalist for Miami Herald reports, despite similar massacres, um, Congress has largely rejected calls for gun control. Even those from first responders, they so often praise afterwards, after massacres. Uh, many police chiefs, particularly in big cities, have long pressed for tougher gun laws to protect the public and their own officers. Even if the assault weapons ban of 1994 did not drastically decrease the numbers in gun violence, a decrease is still present. A small drop in the ocean should still be accounted for in the sense of, in the means of potentially saving a precious life. Even if the ban saved a single life, it would still be worth something because everything, everyone deserves a chance to live that one precious life that we are gifted.